Hello everyone, this is Natasha from Treasure Books. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to share with you this uh, latest project of mine. Um, as you can see, making these beautiful flowers, transforming them from this these um, cheap Hawaiian um, uh, lay, I don't know what they're called, but these, yeah, these flimsy little cheap Hawaiian garland um, so yes I'm going to talk through the process and and let you know exactly what I did to create these amazing beauties look at this what do you think of that I've got some white ones and I've got some of these really autumny ones and they're all um, very similar slightly different um, and they can all be done in so many different ways. Um, just adding different layers and different colors. And there's that one with the bread. That's a bread. That's not a button. So yeah, I think I showed you these ones. I mean, I think they're just so gorgeous. So the way that I did it is I separated first these um, the flowers. Uh, just cut the cord and got them all out and what when you start off they're very flimsy um, yeah really quite flimsy and ugly looking as you can see but once you have done the process of spray painting which is what I did they become a slightly more rigid uh, and hardened so um, yes I use spray paints very very simple very quick process and this is how I did it. This is how I set it up. So I'll just bring this closer so you can see. Um, this is a piece of styrofoam underneath. And then I just put paper on top because when I first, the first batch I did, I didn't put paper on top and all of the styrofoam melted from the, um, from the spray paint. So in the next batch, I put just this uh, paper on top and then I laid out my flowers um, so I'm, I haven't got any that I've cut up, so I'll just use these ones just to show you. I laid out the flowers so that they're close together but not touching and just put a pin through the middle just so they are not flying away as I'm spray painting them. So that's what they, I just put them on there. I was outside, I was wearing gloves and I was wearing a mask because I didn't want to be breathing this stuff in. Um, which, I mean, if you're outside, it doesn't really matter, but I wore a mask. Um, so I used uh, copper spray paint and this is the one that I actually loved the most. This one gave me the most beautiful color. So that, that gave me this color, like a bronzy copper. I also used uh, gold spray paint and that one gave me this color. So it's a little bit greeny sort of and I think it also depends on what the color is of the actual flower so this one by the looks of it was yellow and I only sprayed one side I didn't spray this one I actually used upside down uh, let me show you maybe this one yeah so I actually didn't spray underneath I just sprayed the one layer so if you flip the flower over if the color still goes through like this was the pink one so I mean that doesn't bother me and the, this one's the yellow one I only sprayed the one uh, it would double up the job, I suppose, if I had to flip them all over and then spray them again. So yes, I used the copper, the gold spray paint, and I also used a little bit of this matte white, which I wasn't really a fan of these. I much preferred these flowers. I wasn't. I mean, these ones look really nice, and it's nice to know that I have that option. But um, yes, I really like the copper and the gold more. So this is, I was also trying to do a combination of um, copper and then maybe spray a little bit with white. And that gave me like these graduations of color. They look all right, but they're not, uh, they weren't um, what I was going for, I suppose. I wanted to have like little splotches of white on the flower, but I even tried acrylic um, sprays. And you can see in this one, you can see a little bit of that white. Um, acrylic spray uh, which is just acrylic paint mixed with water and I put it in a spray bottle 
Um, but yeah, the, the effects are very muted and it just that the flowers don't look alive. I mean, they're not alive, but they, you know, you want them to look vibrant. So when I was mixing the colors, they didn't really come out vibrant. Also, another thing to keep in mind, it's very important when you're spray painting outside that it's not um, humid, that the weather's not very humid. The, the mistake that I did, I it was a very humid day and I... Um, sprayed all of my flowers and they all turned out really really ugly milky muted color so then I had to go and I was I went on the internet I was looking at why this has happened why is it turning out this way and it turns out that it's because it was very humid and I did rectify the problem I used a heat gun so I just went over each flower with the heat gun and it brought back um, that color that vibrancy in the spray paint uh, but it's really better to just not do it when it's very humid just do it when it's dry I suppose and not raining and not too hot and not too cold so um, yes once they were all spray painted then I had little flowers like this that were all different colors and then I just started arranging them and playing with them and as you can see they're all the same size so I let me just get my yes I was using these I think they're called pinking shears I think and I'll just demonstrate so let's say I've got this big flower and I wanted to make it smaller so that it can go inside this flower. So I would just, um, how did I do it? Yeah, just like this. Okay, so I'll just cut, cut it down a little bit and then open it up and then you know just make sure that it's all nice and even everywhere and that it's looking good and it's looking natural and making sure that I'm happy with it so that's that and then layer it on top of this and then I will do a third layer or even some of the flowers have four layers like you can see this one it's got four layers and then once that's done I get out my I've got a box of brads in fact I've got two boxes of brads because I love brads they go onto a lot of my projects and then I was using I've got these cute little flower ones and then that just goes through there and through there and how good does that look very simple, very easy, quick process, and they can go onto um, on covers, inside journals, and anything that you can imagine. I'll just show you. Let's see. Um, let's see. I'm just working on this journal at the moment, so like that looks really nice. Or inside I could have it on a page like that I could have it on a pocket like that you know I can do oh, lots of things um, I can make them a lot smaller or bigger or, I mean did uh, they just look beautiful and I think out of something that we can get really really cheap um, the spray paints are quite cheap and you can use them for all sorts of different projects. Um, the these flower thingies are really cheap, and you can use them in all sorts of different ways. And the creativity just you know, it, uh, you know, blossoms, I guess. Um, and I also had a different uh, uh, Hawaiian garland thing. So this one had different shaped petals, and I used that one as well in a few. You can see here there's just a bit of that and here and yep so what do you guys think let me know um ask me a question if you've got any questions and yeah like this video if you like it give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day see you next time bye